that's pregnant with the possibilities of forbidden dreams. And I, I, I need you to know what's happening up here on this side of the podium because I'm wrestling with just completely unleashing. And, and, and there's, there's a place for that, don't get me wrong. But we can't just simply be a people who only have that we need word in us, we need to see so that there is conception. So I'm, I'm wrestling because I, I just personally want to run. Come on, Jesus! And, 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 and I need you to know it's dangerous to be this close to the pipe because one day I'm going to run down the Bruce Lane. <laughs> That door's gonna open up and I'm gone, and I'm gonna just leave y'all in here with the Lord. That's the reason why I keep my tennis shoes on. You just never. But I, but I say this to you because I, I need you to know that you are are not in a normal place. And and the things that that the Lord has said already in here today has has been so wonderfully rich that I do not want you to miss that, but I also have a deposit that I must make. I keep hearing God say, do you know how special you are? Thank you, Father. I mean, the things that have been stacked against you. Yes. Yes. And you're still here. Yes. And, and, and I know that, that, that what the enemy does so well is that he keeps creating these comparisons. But the comparisons skew the numbers. And give you a false read about your own reality. Yes. Yes. Speak, Lord. People have died with what you've been up against. Thank you. Lord. People Glory. lost their minds yes. Yes. trying to keep a hold of what yes. your thoughts yes. have been running through. So you cannot miss these moments because they're more than just a shout. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is God giving his seal of approval. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That you've been authorized for what's next. Woo. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Authorized. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So every now and again, you just have to stop and think. Why am I still here? Jesus. So, so, so let's let's get to to to, to my assignment so that I can release you. In, in, in the book of, of 2 Kings, the protocol has been established. It is what it is. If you have your Bible anywhere close to you, Amen. cool. If not, don't, don't worry about it. But here's, here's what it says. You can get the tape. In, in the book of, of, of 2 Kings, chapter number 4, starting at verse number 1, it reads this way. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elijah. Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that he reverenced the Lord. He revered the Lord. But now his creditor is coming to take my two boys as his slave. Elijah replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a little oil. Yes. Elijah said, go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. 
Then go inside, shut the door behind you and your sons. Yes. Pour the oil into all the jars. As each is filled, put it to one side. She left him and afterwards shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her and she said, keep pouring. And she kept pouring. When all the jars were filled, she said to her son, bring me another one. But he replied, there is not another jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, go, sell the oil and pay your debts. You and your sons can live on what's left. I, I, I have been wrestling during this moment to not just simply release the full power of the Holy Spirit and tear this place apart because God sent me with a word to tell somebody that it's time for you to leave from behind. Mm. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord. It's, it's time for you to lead from behind. Can we pray? Yes. Jesus. Eternal God, our Father, it's in the precious, holy, and matchless name of Jesus that we come to say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you Father, for revealing and manifesting yourself in this place in the way that you already have. We ask, Lord God, that you just guide us in the way that you would have us to go, direct us into the path that is most conducive for the persons that you have prepared us to be. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh in this place. Have your way. Open up a way. Create a way. Show the way. Let your spirit continue to fall even yet while we are ministering so that your people are who it is that you call us to be saved, healed, delivered, set a captive free. Throw your weight around some more, God. We, your children, are listening, and we are here to receive from you. For it's in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus, and all of God's children say, Amen. 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 It's time to lead from behind. Here in the second book of Kings, the fourth chapter, we find a woman who just so happens to be a mother. Who, from all accounts, according to the story, has been dealt a really raw deal. The hand that she's been dealt has left her behind. More often than not, what we expect does not exist. I'll say that one more again. More often than not, Kareem, what we expect does not exist. And because it does not exist, it entangles the way in which we operate. I can imagine that when this woman looked into the future of her life, she would have never expected that she was going to have to live without her husband. I, I, I can imagine that when this woman looked at her life, she would have never expected that she would be the one responsible for taking care of her family. I can imagine that when this woman looked over her life, she would have never expected to be indebted the way she is at the opening verses of this text. The expectation is that leading is something that happens from being in front. But sometimes, the most powerful position is not out front, but being strong enough to keep it pushing when you're behind. Jesus. Leading from behind is not letting the disappointments created by failed expectations define what can happen to you. Amen. I, I got to say that one more time. Leading from behind is not letting the disappointment created by failed expectations define what can happen for you. This mother had a choice. She could curl up into a ball and wither away, clinging in to how she is ill-prepared for the problems she is facing. And let the creditors come in and take her kids, remove her future Oh. She could take control and use this moment and these trials yes. to transform. Thank you. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the most difficult things to do in our highly 
interconnected culture is to teach people the value of playing their position. Okay. Yes. 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 The reason why this is so difficult amongst us is because no sooner do we settle into one position, we're exposed to what's going on in the life of someone else. And the moment that we get exposed to what's going on in their life, without fail, we start desiring something else. This woman, who the Bible does not name, seems to have found herself in Scripture. Now, before I move on, it's important to note that by not naming her, it was not as if she was not important enough to remember, because she's in the text. Yeah. Amen. But by not naming her, what happens is that the Bible gives us a grander view of what's going on, not just her. Amen. Mm. Amen. Let me see if I can do this again. When the Bible does not include someone's name, it is because their situation re represents a scenario that anyone could face. Amen. 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 Whenever you give a name, you don't just identify someone, you eliminate or restrict all others. So it's on this Mother's Day that we're looking at a woman, a mother, who's in a situation that any mother could face. Amen. Amen. She, she is called to play her position. I cannot pause parenthetically and just give you an example and then I'll get out of the way. Uh, back to the message. This is why I love when Paul said that there was given to me a thorn in my flesh, a messenger for Satan to torment me. See, Paul did not name his thorn. Amen. He just said that there's an irritant. There's something that keeps coming after me. And God's response to Paul's thorny issue is, my grace is sufficient. Yes. See, if Paul had said there was given me this alcohol or drug addiction, this messenger from Satan, then all whoremongers would have felt okay. Look out. Look out now. About their situation. So he doesn't do that. He says thorn because each of us has something that's poking us. In like manner, we are looking at a woman who's a mother who's not named because any of us, specifically the women amongst us, even more specifically the mothers in the house, this Mother's story could be yours. Yes, yes. Yes. So I want to talk about leading from behind. Now, it is no secret that women in biblical times were not viewed as equal participants in the culture. But I would argue that the idea of, mo of the modern day equality has created greater degrees of damage yes. than the biblical displays of women. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. that's what you yes. just for a moment. See, at least in the biblical example of women, the Bible may not have had, they may not have had a cultural advantage on the surface, but they were clear about playing the position that was theirs, granting them the ability to tap into an unadulterated, uninterrupted connection with God whenever life dealt them a raw deal. Amen. But when the culture and its ideologies infect divine responsibilities, the challenges can be catastrophic. Because when we pray from a perspective that may be present, we may be praying out of position. Sure, you might be cool with those you're around, but the question is, can God hear you because of where you put yourself? We have to be very clear that most important thing is that we write with God. Yes, Lord. The most important thing for any believer to do is to be in the right position with the one who created them. All other things are secondary because if it's one thing that is true, is change happens. This woman in our text, this mother, is behind on life. The beautiful thing about motherhood is that though you may be experiencing things that cause you to get behind, that does not mean that God is not calling you to lead. Amen. Amen. The difference from leading from behind versus up front is up front you tend to ask for help 
uh, or not ask for help until you realize you need it. Whereas from behind, you realize it's your help that makes you the leader. Thank you. Amen. 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 Forgive me, I stumbled that coming out. I'm going to say it again. The difference between leading from behind versus up front is that up front, you tend not to ask for help until you realize you need it. Whereas from behind, you realize it is your help that makes you the leader that you are. Yes. Leading from behind requires participation. Yes. There are few places that mothers can find help that the text reveals. And give me just a couple of moments. I know I've ruined your shout, but I saved your hair. <laughs> Most of you. I'll give you these points and then I'll get out of the way. For you to lead from behind, the first thing the text gives us some insight on is your help is in the house. Yes. Amen. <laughs> yes, God. If you're going to lead, even though you may be behind, it's important for you to realize that your help is in the house. I'm in verse number 2 of 2 Kings chapter number 4. Here's what it says. Elijah replied to her, how can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your, your, your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a little oil. So, so often when life gets rough, and it appears as though we have lost our way, we tend to go out of our way to look for someone to give us something to help us. She has lost both her love and her leader, and she is in jeopardy for losing her future. So it's natural for us to expect, and for her to expect, to look for someone to aid her. But what the text reveals is that what she needed was different than what she wanted. Amen. Amen. What she needed was not to have someone give to her. Yes, 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 yes. But in her need, she needed to look for something she could offer. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. What do you have? Nothing but. But. Mm. <laughs> Those two things. Yeah are diametrically opposed. Amen. What do you have? Nothing but. What do you have? Nothing but. A little oil. Sometimes, life strips us down to nothing to reveal the little something. Yes. Thank you. But what God wants to use, you already have. The key is to stop looking at what's gone and start leading with what is left behind. Yes. 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 Your help is in your house. But not, not only does she find her help in her house, the text tells us her help is in her hood. I'm in verse 3 now of of, of chapter number four, Second Kings, where it says, Elijah said, go and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Right. Mm. Now, now, now that she's in, uh, in a, a agreement about what she has to offer, it's now time to get help in order to determine the capacity of the offering. Amen. Amen. Right. Mm. Okay. Right. Now, now that she knows, Ebony, what she got, it's now time for her to get help to determine the capacity of how she's going to use it. Yeah. Right. Amen. Let's see if I can dig down just a little bit deeper. Are you all right? Yes. This mother was sent to connect with her community. Don't, don't, don't miss this. Don't, don't miss this. Don't miss this. In, in this interconnected culture that we live in, we are so connected, we don't know how to talk to nobody. Come on. Come on. How? how how I know everything about you but never met you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then the question is, do I really know anybody? Because I've never really taken the time to I, I, I digress. Don't miss this. Our debts increase when we fail to connect with the people around us. Yeah, I was expecting a different response to that, so maybe I didn't say it clearly. 
Our debts increase when we fail to connect with the people around us. We were never supposed to do life all by ourselves, but to connect with those that God has strategically placed around us. Do you know that palm trees don't grow in the Arctic? Amen. That glaciers do not float in the Caribbean? God plants us. He puts us in an environment that is most conducive for our growth. Amen. Could it be that the reason why your debts are such a problem is because you're not connecting with the people that God has placed you around? Amen. 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 Pride prevents progress and promotes regress. Our problems are platforms. We can either step up and live on higher ground as a result of them, or we can step down and have them lord over us all of our lives. Our grandmothers used to send us next door to ask for things that we discovered we needed but did not have. It's only when a need arises that we learn who we can count on. Okay. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. But if we never ask those who God has placed us around, we never learn who we can count on. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Yes, Could it be that we're too busy trying to build a future with people you can't count on? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Notice the request was for empty jars, something that those around you both have and are not using. Yes. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. You missed it. Yes. God will never create a lack in our life and place us in and around people if they don't have something that we need that they're not using. Okay. Yeah. 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 God will never create a lack in your life that he has not strategically placed somebody already in your life before the lack was created. Who not only has what you need, but they ain't using it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, God. That, 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 that was all that your grandmama was proving in the first place. It wasn't until she went to go bake the cake that she realized she didn't have the sugar, but that didn't stop her from baking the cake. Amen. Boy, go next door. See, it didn't have to stop. Yes. But you know why it stops now? Because we don't connect. Amen. Amen. We, we don't want nobody around us to know that we ain't got what we ain't got. Let, 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 me, let me ask you a question. What do you have that somebody else needs? Mm, yes. Yes. What, what have you got that could lift them out of the debt that they're in? Yes. We're so blessed that we have more than we need. And by offering just what we have, yes. we can help someone close the gap between their debt yes. and their reality. Yes. 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 But this requires that we connect with those that God has already placed us around. Amen. 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 Elijah said, don't, don't, don't ask for just a few. I, I got to let you go so you can get the brunch. But, but, but don't ask for just a see, see, if you're going to ask anyway, don't just get your needs met. Oh. See, asking for little keeps you a lack. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to help somebody. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, maybe I need to dig down. Most people don't want to come off needy. Okay. Yeah. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. 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 Therefore, they never get away from being in need. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Can I say it again? Yeah. Most people don't want to come off looking needy, Bill. So, therefore, they never really get away from always finding themselves okay. yeah. in right. Right. need. I just want enough to pay my bills. I just want a good man. I just want my kids to graduate. Well, you paid your bills, but now you can't eat. You got a good man, but you're not attracted to him. Your kids graduated, but they have a degree in a field that they're not motivated to pursue. 
This minimalist mindset means that all we have is just all that we need to address what we know. Not providing any room for the rate of life inflation. And if it's one thing the old folks used to say all the time is that time is filled with swift transitions. If all we have, if all we ask, if all we're looking for is just enough, then we never have any room to breathe, to think about how to handle the challenges of change. And therefore, we are in constant need. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, I got yes. quiet. I knew yes. it was possibly yes. going to get quiet. But can I sum it up in a simple statement like this? Stop asking for coins when you need cash. Yes. Speak, <laughs> Lord. Oh, I just got it. The kids are here, so I'm going to be late. Because I was about to go south. <laughs> Could it be that God is waiting to answer your prayer when you start asking him something that only he can provide? Amen. 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 How can you exhaust heaven? Yes. Oh, ah. Wow. Wow. Tell me what can you ask that he can't provide? Give me one scenario or situation that you can think of that he has not already planned for before your brain was formulated. That which, when supplied, the story shows that it could only be God are the kind of requests that God is looking for. Mm -hmm. I'm still talking about a woman who was behind. Yes. Not only did she find help in her house and strength from her hood, but she was able to be strengthened for how she handled her helpers. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. She found help in her house, right. help from her hood, mm -hmm. but now her strength was going to be determined by how she handled her helpers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Her future would be secured yes. by how she handled those who were destined, who were around her to help her. I'm right here in the text. Now I'm in verse number four of chapter four of Second Kings. Are you still all right? Yes. The text says, then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars, and as each is filled, put it in on to one side. Do you know that real leadership is not found in what people see in front of the door, but it is in what happens behind the door? Okay. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Real leadership is not what happens out front, right. it's what happens from behind. Right. Amen. Right. Right. Hmm. Go in, take what you have, take who you have, and pour. Mm. Hallelujah, God. Go in, take what you have, mm -hmm. take who you have, That's right. and pour. Amen. Uh. Uh. I, I know that you're behind and I know that you need, but if you're going to get out of needing, you're going to have to find someone to pour into. Yes. 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 challenge to our transformation is that we tend to take the wrong things and the wrong people. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. we, we tend to keep moving with the wrong stuff and the wrong crew. Yeah. Yeah. Mark chapter number 5 tells us uh, a story where Jesus heals Jairus' daughter mm -hmm. and on the way when he hears about this young girl being sick, they get the word that the girl died. Amen. Amen. Thank you. On the way to handle the situation, yeah. the situation can yet die. Yeah. 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 Now the average person would say, well, oh, well. that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more to do. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the average person. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ignoring what they said, Jesus told Jairus, don't be afraid, yeah. just believe. Yeah. Just believe. Yeah. 
He did not let anyone follow except Peter, James, and John. Upon arriving at the house in the midst of the commotion and the wailing, Jesus said, the child is not dead, but asleep. But the crowd laughed at him, and after this, he put them out. I preached the whole message in just reading those few lines. See, if you go to Jesus and you make a request, don't be shook by what other people say about the request you made to Jesus. Don't go to him if you're not going to believe him because the Bible says that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek after him. What is death to life? What can die in the presence of he who is alive? Glory to God. The text goes on to say that he took Peter, James, and John. Now, I've got pause parenthetic and I just drill down a little bit deeper? Yes. How many disciples were there? Twelve. Twelve. Uh -huh. But he only named three. 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 Because everybody in the church ain't ready for the problems that you face. Yes. And you have to know who the right people are when you are behind. Yes. Yes. He took Peter, James, and John and they went on to deal with the problem. He told the one who had the problem, don't worry, don't be afraid, just believe. Yes. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. When they get into the environment where the problem was, Mother Webb, there is so much commotion and so much wailing uh -huh. that Jesus has to make a declarative statement That's as right. to why he arrived. That's right. uh -huh. Jesus never shows up to grave sites and leaves them dead. Can, can, can I explain what happened in the shout before the message? See, you walked in mourning. You were worried about what had happened, what is happening, and you were fearful about what ain't going to happen. So we came in morning. We were treating his house Jesus. like a cemetery. Woo! And then life walked in. You know you didn't have no strength to shout. You didn't dress to shout. But when life shows up to death, the response is violent. He, he walks in and he makes a declarative statement that she is not dead. She's asleep. I do know what these Negroes did. They laughed at him. They said, come on. Get out. Get out. <laughs> See when 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 you're behind, mm -hmm. you can't afford mm -hmm. Amen. to be cute or kind. Okay. Amen. See that's that's why we don't play church here. And I I, I I try to gauge this thing out because oftentimes what we dealing with ain't cute. And if I'm going to be dirty, I don't mind getting it. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. dirty. Come on. Come on. Come on. And if you need a cute season, uh -huh. Uh -huh. while I'm wrestling yeah. with this mess up, well, do you understand I'm dealing with death? Yeah. And you think it's a joke? Yeah. Well, since you don't seem to understand the severity of what I'm dealing with, here's the deal. He put him out, leaving only the mother, the father, yeah. Peter, James, and John. <clears throat> he speaks to the girl, grabs her by the hand, and says, get up. Mm -hmm. And she was walking around. Yeah. All right, let's bring it back to our text, shall we? Amen. Go, take your boys, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and shut the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. uh -huh. mm -hmm. We 
we, we have to be willing to pour into those who remain. Amen. Amen. You have to display and show them, no matter what you're dealing with, what it is that it takes in an effort to get beyond where we are. Right. Yeah. Amen. Jesus yeah. is found all the time doing miracles only with or around those who either need it or could believe for a miracle. Spectators are for the story, but participators are for the process. Oh, yes. Yes. And you have to know who you are around yes. in seasons when you are behind. Yes. Yes. Those who are around us, those who are with us, those who came from us, you have to show and they will grow. Oh, yes. mm. Amen. Amen. Those under your care, Amen. you must show and they will grow. This mother <laughs> took what she had and applied what she was given and she set it aside, the text says. She took the time to show those under her what she had. She applied it to what she was given and then she became strategic about how to handle it. Yeah. Mm. Amen. 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 Yeah. She told them how to handle a bad situation. She took the blessing and the borrowing and she budgeted it. I got this for the final thing because I'll tell you what, just on that point alone, I could teach an entire series. But that's what mothers do all the time. You're teaching because you're breathing. Amen. 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 Fourth and final thing. Her help was found in her house, in her hood, and in her helpers. Fourth and final thing. It was also in her hands. Amen. Amen. Verse 7, 2 Kings, chapter number 4. Go, sell the oil, and pay your debts, and you and your sons can live on what's left. This mother is leading from behind. Amen. Oh, you still Amen. 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 See, when her story began, she was behind on life. Her husband was gone, her bills were due, and she was about to lose her children. Our God is not the God that is the great concealer, but our God is the great revealer. He's not into covering up. As a matter of fact, he's yeah. into exposing. And the closer you get, the more naked you become. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, yeah. see, this is where the church has, has promoted the wrong activity. Yes. This is not about you coming in here and concealing what's going on with yeah, you. That's, right. that's the reason why there are spontaneous shouts that happen every now and again. Yeah, right, right. Because that's an indication that there's something going on on the inside, inside. and it's time for it to start showing on the outside. So you can Maybelline it, <laughs> Mac it, right. body and soul it. It doesn't right. matter. <laughs> when God starts moving on you, He's going to take what's happening on the inside and he's going to reveal it to everybody yes, so that yes, people yes. can track yes. 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 how God has got your back. Yes. Hallelujah. But if you always come yes. in looking like perfection, then those who have real problems would think that God can't solve them. Yes. Now be clear, I'm not saying you come in and you bleed every week. <laughs> did not realize, and you may have missed like I did, was that as she was confessing, God was blessing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I, I've already said the power in the text, mm -hmm. but can I remind you what we've already said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember back when she had to ask for help? Mm -hmm. When she was asking for the jars? Yes. When she was asking for help, she was actually getting help. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. When she was asking 
those around her for help, God was actually helping her in her asking. Yes, yes, yes. As she was asking for help, God was working it so that the ask was what revealed how she could help. Yes, yes. She was asking, but while she was asking, she was finding out how she could do something. The Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 10, humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. Right. Yes, yes. Yes. This woman opens up in the first verse of the fourth chapter of the second book of Kings and she is behind on everything. Right. Yes. Yes. And it's natural for us just to want to cover it up and not show. But you know what? There is some trouble that we can get ourselves in. Okay. Yes. 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 That the image that we used to maintain, we can't even afford to maintain that no more. Amen. That's how far behind she was. She was then in turn instructed by God to go and be even more evased. She, she, she went to the man of God and told him. But he told her, go tell them. She came to the church house looking for personal counseling. But she left the church house going out to public confessing. Amen. Amen. As she was confessing, God was blessing. Can I prove it? She, she asked Everybody she could connect, could, could connect with for jars that were empty. Not realizing that being willing to humble herself beyond what she was probably comfortable with by listening and following God's instructions. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. When she was asking for help, James, she helped herself to her new client base. Ah. You missed it. That was ah. See, she didn't know what God was going to do when God instructed her to go tell them. Yes, yes. But what she found out was that by finding out who she could count on, right, yes, right, yes, she was actually counting her customers. Ah. Yes, Lord. Those who were willing to help her with that which they had that they weren't using mm -hmm. revealed something that they did not have, but they needed. Yes. Yes. Exactly. They had no oil. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And that's all she had. <laughs> I guess maybe five years What you are anointed to do, God has placed you in a community that needs your anointing. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Father. What you have got is all that you need. And when you are willing to be humble enough in an effort to reveal that I'm not all of that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just yes. this. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Whenever God creates a lack of that in their life, they know exactly where to go yes. to get it. Yes. 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 <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. The steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. The text says that she went back to the man of God to tell him what it is that had occurred. And he said, go, sell the oil, eliminate your debt, and live off the rest. I need you to know that God has a plan Hallelujah. Glory to God. No matter how far behind you may be. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. 
that if you're willing to lead anyway, yes. behind can't even keep you. To celebrate Mother's Ooh. Day is to honor the contributions of our leaders. The person who has had the greatest impact on us is not the person who's always been seen out front. Mm -hmm. But we celebrate our leader who has led us from behind all of the time. Mm -hmm. yes. We celebrate the one who, though they may not have had a whole lot, has always at least had our back. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 But I don't care how nobody else recognizes the contributions that you make or the problems that you face. That's not an excuse for you not to lead. Amen. 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 No matter where the culture may be, whether they're celebrating you or accusing you, God made you. Amen. And he has a plan for you. No matter what season you're in, you'll find help in your house. Thank you, Lord. You'll find help in your hood. There are people who God strategically placed around you before you even knew you needed it. He'll give you help by the way you pour into those in whom you birth. Amen. Amen. And then it's in your hands. If, you, if you're willing to humble yourself, he'll lift you up. Amen. Here's one of the biggest secrets in the world. I'm going to say, say this, we're going to pray, and we're going to get out of here. Because God is the great revealer, one of the things that happens all the time with every new season is he forces us to deal with our nakedness. Yes. Yeah. No matter how we may dress ourselves up because of the season we just came out of, in an effort to qualify for the next one, he's going to strip you down again. Yes, yes, yes. It ain't a one-time deal. It happens time after time after time. And we have to learn the process of God. Because he wants us to be open. He wants us to be naked. Because in that, as I said a moment ago, he has something that others can track his goodness with. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when we're willing to humble ourselves, he said, it makes no difference. I'm now about to promote you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let them think whatever they need to think. As a matter of fact, their thinking reveals on how you can count on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. It tells you who you can take. Yes. And tell you who's your crew. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people in the crowd, but there's not a whole folk, a whole lot in the core. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that doesn't mean you walk away from the crowd. You just know that you have to be selective with what you share. Yeah. 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 And it's not an indictment on anybody. It's just yeah. you just can't handle the right. truth. When you do, humble yourself through the process. Who can curse what God has blessed? Yeah. If God be for you, yeah. the question was, well, come up with somebody that can be against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right, right. Come on, come on. Find them. Yeah, come on, find them. Bring them to him. Yeah. 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 No matter how far behind you Amen. Amen. On this Mother's Day, I dare you to leave me. Keep leading. You were our first leader. We would know who we were, who we are, or even who we could be if it wasn't for the fact that you were behind us, yes. pushing us out. Yes. You were born to push. Everything in you is designed to, you have to be told to stop. 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I pray that today's message was not in an effort to keep you 
from behind. But to teach you that that's a good position to be in. That you don't need to be anything but. Because that's where your strength lies. Amen. So play your position. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, it's in the precious, holy, and matchless name of He who is our Christ that we just thank you on this Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you for the way that you have displayed yourself in this place. And I pray, Lord God, that something was said, done, or understood that has encouraged the heart, strengthened the spirit, and ignited a life. Father, if I said or did anything that was a misrepresentation of your purpose and your plan for gathering us here together, I pray that at the end of this prayer, you remove it from our hearts and our minds as far as the east is from the west. But if by chance, Lord God, we're right on target. Hide this word in our heart so that we do not sin against you, but that we strive because we're in relationship with you. Thank you, God, for not only being God, but being our God. Thank you for manifesting yourself in our presence the way.